بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد. It's imperative to know about the Muslim community. The Muslim community in America, specifically, they espouse the principles of the Constitution of the United States and they practice them better than those people who have issued the Patriot Act and those people who attempt to deceive the American pub uh, public by uh, denigrating Islam and propagating lies about the religion of Islam. American Muslims operate and show respect to law and order. American Muslims operate within the limits of the constitutions. They practice the principles of free speech. They practice the right to assemble. They practice religious freedom, all guaranteed by the constitution, the constitution of the United States of America, where we are from. We respect law and order. You don't see us out there selling drugs. You don't see us out there doing prostitution. You don't see us doing uh, money laundering and doing all of those ills that plague the society. However, you see us condemning that. You seeing us, you see the Muslims, the right practicing Muslims being upright and respectful and respecting all of humanity. You see Muslim Americans denouncing terror and terrorist ideologies and terrorist ideolo ideologues. This is what you find from American Muslims. But this is in opposition to those people who violate the Constitution, those people who unjustly incar incarcerate people without trial, those people who assassinate Americans abroad and within the country, and other individuals who they deem to be a threat to their ideology, but in fact not a threat to the American pop, uh, the American Constitution and the ideas espoused in America, nor the American populace, but in fact they take it into their own hands to make laws and do whatever they want to do and violate the very principles that the nation was established upon. These same individuals they interrogate, harass, and spy on law-abiding citizens. They target, harass, and attempt to corrupt and criminalize religious communities and minorities and religious practices. They practice terror. They violate the very freedoms they claim to defend. So who is really the extremist? Islam calls to the worship of God and God alone and to follow the last prophet of God, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who came after the beloved Jesus, the son of Mary, alayhi salatu wa salam. And the law says in the Quran, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ وَالْجِنُّ وَالْإِنسِ لَلِيَعْبُدُونَ I have not created mankind and the jinn, the spiritual beings, except for the purpose of worshipping me. Meaning that's our divine purpose. This is what concerns the Muslim. This is how the Muslim uh, lives his or her life espousing this principle, not harming others, not harming others even through their speech and actions, but rather trying to practice the Qur'an, the beloved last revelation to mankind that came from the Lord of the heavens and earth, trying to practice what is contained in the Qur'an, those beloved principles that espouse the unity of the worship of, of God and God alone, that Islamic monotheism, the true monotheism, this is what Islam teaches. Islam forbids terrorism. It denounces terrorism and any and all forms of terrorist and extreme ideologies. And I ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.